Hey y'all, this is Lady TZCD coming back at you with a quick video. Lady TZCD, I hope this ain't it's not too much light uh, because it's, it's a um, a gloomy day outside. So I was trying to make sure you get the proper lighting. But um, I just want to sit back and say hello. Lady TZCD um, is coming in, want to chat. Happy Tuesday. This is Chatting Tuesday. In this video, I'm going to do two videos, so uh, look out for the next video as well. So real, real, real quick, um, I want to talk about what, you know, my experience was today, just earlier today. So, uh, today was uh, my annual, one of my annual examinations I had to be done today. So I had planned on getting a, I had scheduled rather, a dun -dun -dun -dun, pap. Your annual, my annual pap exam or pelvic exam or pap smear or pap or whatever you want to call it. And so you guys, all the ladies out there, they know what I'm talking about. And some of you guys out there, devos out there, y'all need to know exactly what I'm talking about as well. So it is time uh, for me during this time of season uh, in the fall, normally around September through November, I go get my my um, physicals, my physical done. I get a mammogram done. I get a pap done. I get, you know, a bone density test done. I try to make sure I, I stay on top of my, my health. My health journey is very, very important to me, along with working out and going to Zuma, eating right and all that stuff. But today, I had to go get a pap done. And it wasn't one of those things. It's, it's something on my list that I really don't like to do. And after you get a certain age, you don't have to have it done. For me, I don't have to have it done every year. But I try to make sure I stay on it, you know, on top of things. Um, as far as my mammogram done, I get, I get that done every year. So that's so important for me to share with you guys. Please go get your mammogram done and your pap, paps uh, done your pelvic examination done because breast cancer and cervi cervical cancer is uh, spreading like wildfire among women or among uh, African American women as well. So make sure that you go get that checked out. Okay. <laughs> With that being said, y'all, so I had to go today and uh, get that done. And so, um, you know, it's so funny. I try to go in there with, you know, positive attitude. I try to make light of it. You know, it's funny. I try to make sure, you know, I have some laughter or whatever. Because it's already, you know, kind of uncomfortable um, to have done, you know, anyway. And my doctor, she's a, a family. She's a family. She's my family doctor. She's my family practitioner. And she's an internalist, too. Internal medicine doctor. So, she that just cover her straight across the board. I don't have to have a separate gynecologist unless I um, have some issues you know female issues that I have to really really go to a specialist and see so she if, if everything is no you know pretty much normal I can see her so which is good because I don't you know I don't like to go outside and see you know different doctors if I've gained a rapport with my doctor if she can see me for everything and pretty much she can I like to go see doctor her name is dr. Robbie and so anyway I go in <clears throat> so you know of course you see the nurse and everything and I'm making jokes and stuff I was like oh you know tell her to bring the uh, music and some wine and then some champagne I ain't used to this coming up here I ain't getting nothing done you know getting nothing out of this you know and she just a little young you know nurse she just laughing and cracking up and I was like you know let's do this quick because I'm used to quickies I mean I'm just <laughs> I like quickies, you know, I made a joke about it because it ain't, you know, it ain't that deep for me. Hey, I'm at a certain age. I don't had this, this mess done umpteen times throughout my life, you know, during the time they start telling you to have to get, get this mess taken care of and checked out. And I'm a very compliant person and I try to go ahead on and go, you know, to certain doctor's appointments. So you stay on top of that and get stuff caught early. And so she came in there and we was talking and stuff. And she was, you know, she was like, everybody just making light of uh, their, their examinations today as far as their paps are done uh, and, and, and exams today. And she said one of her patient's friends told her, she said, now, don't go in there and get embarrassed because, you know, uh, at least bathe before you go up in there. I was like, what? She told her to bathe. Her friend told her to bathe. I'm like, why she ain't going to bathe anyway? <laughs> I mean, are you serious? 
So, I mean, please, I know good and well everybody like they're taking a bath before they go to the doctor. But I guess not. I guess that's not the thing. I, sometimes I just be out the loop when it comes to certain things. I just be in shock when it comes to certain things. You know, I just, just, just think in my little bubble, I mean, for real, you know, you people going to the doctor without bathing and getting paps. She was like, you, hey, I got, I can't even go into the doctor. You know, doctor was like, she can't even go into certain things, but uh, it, it, it is true. I was like, what? But anyway, please, 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 when you go take a, a pap or any type of doctor's appointment, go take a shower or send in some water. And, 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 and get salad, salad, salad straight, okay? Now, I don't mean go take, you know, go get a uh, summer eve and, you know, do all that stuff, dushing and all that. You ain't got to do all that, you know, because your body all automatically cleans itself out, your JJ. But, you know, you're trying to go get a pap done. You can't, you know, you don't need all that stuff, you know, cleaned down and stuff all up and through. Because she's trying to figure out, is everything functioning right? Your cervix looks healthy and all that. You don't need all that happening at that time of the, the, uh, the examination. And so, but please, babe, I couldn't understand what she was saying. I thought she was talking some kind of uh, a different language. Because I can't understand why anybody bathing. Uh, uh, what person coming out without a shower or sitting in some water for you get your dad going for JJ checked out. Okay. But anyway... And by all means, honey, don't be going up in there uh, with a forest, okay? You really look like Jurassic Park down there. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I mean, try to find a razor or, or somebody, something, and, 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 and hey, let's edge it up, okay? Let, 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 let's, 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 let, let's get it, you know, cleaned off, okay? Let's, let's clear the forest, all right? Cause that's that's embarrassing. I don't understand. I'm not understanding. I I can't be no doctor. I couldn't be a doctor because I I, I have folk, you know. I have some little uh, ACD. Uh, I have a, I have some kind of phobia or something when it comes to keeping my hygiene and clean and stuff. I uh no. I I will be like uh next. Let me um send you out to somebody a referral or something because I ain't gonna be able to see you today. <laughs> That was my experience today, and um, she's very quick. Everything was cool, and you know, and I'm thankful for that. So I got that on out the way. So in November, I will be going to get my uh, mammogram done. I feel like I'm blending into the, the wall with this beige water. This is beige water. It may be the glass, but anyway, um, yes, that was my experience today. Y'all go get your um your um paps done and your your uh mammograms and all that good stuff done your, and make sure everybody's healthy because i do want to keep you guys here and then hopefully you guys you know stay healthy and strong and be here and watch my videos and i can watch y'all videos and all that good stuff thank y'all for watching lady tzcd i'm gonna jump off and stick around for my next video i'm gonna do a haul all right i'll talk to y'all later bye bye peace